Hi everyone, Alex with Bim It Up here. Today I'm going to show you how to create a list of files that are contained within a folder. So for this we're going to use Excel, but this same procedure can be used to create it in Word. So the idea is that you have a certain folder that contains a bunch of files. Let's say you have a list of, uh, I don't know, Asheville drawings from 1974 in PDF format and you would like to generate a, a nice list and keep them in a tabular form you can easily do that using Windows and in this case we're going to use Excel I'm going to show you how to include additional information like the file size or the date modified I'm going to show you how to replace text with other text in Excel so that we can clean this list very nicely I'm going to show you how to remove cells and lines that meet certain criteria. So let's say you want to remove all the cells that contain the word imperial. You could do that and you could remove the whole line as well. So stick around and you'll learn a ton of useful tips and tricks. See you in Windows. Now think about it. It makes sense. If you like this kind of content, you can subscribe to the channel. If you click that bell, you get notifications and then you don't miss any of our new videos. And if you're serious about your professional training, go ahead and visit us at bimitup.com and there you can contact me directly for some professional training. So I'm in my main Autodesk Auto Academy P 2018 folder, right? And if I go into my ENU folder, I can have, let's say, styles, right? And I want to generate a list in Excel of all these styles and I don't want to type them all right it doesn't make any sense so one thing I could do is I could cross select like this or you could use you know control A to select them all and then you could go here under the home tab you have this option that says copy path you can also get to it if, if you do instead of that and you have the file selected you can do shift you can hold the shift button and do right click and you have the same thing here copy as path and what this allows you to do is that if you open a new a brand new Excel file then you can do control V and now the beauty of this is that you're pasting each one of these as individual cells right now you have all this garbage here that probably you wouldn't want to have maybe you do and maybe it's useful information but if you wanted to remove it you can simply just come here from here to here select that control C to copy it to your clipboard and then if you click a uh, control H you can display the find and replace dialog box and then find what well I do control V I want to find this right or he's gonna find it all over the place and I want to replace it with what I want to replace it with nothing I'm gonna do replace all and just like that I have a list of 71 files as individual cells and this can be very handy this has a bunch of applications another interesting way of doing this is you can come here and just copy this path and then go to Google Chrome and just paste it here and then you get a list of all your files and if you do control A from here to select everything and then control C to copy to the clipboard and then you go back to your Excel file and then you do control V is you get, well if you do control V you get this right but instead of doing that I rather copy without the formatting and to do that I would do right click and then this one match destination formatting and I think this is a little cleaner and the beauty of this one is that it gives you the file size and the date modify and you remove that little garbage that we just removed with a find replace so that's all fine right that's great but I would like to let's say I want to remove I just want the DWGs right I don't want the XMLs I want to get rid of everything I just want to have the DWGs which are the AutoCAD files in, under my styles imperial folder so how do I do that well for that I need to find with control F right I, I get this displayed and then what you do is you find and then let's say I want to get rid of the XML files right so I, I type dot XML 
and then I do find all and then I get a list of all the XML files in this case it's only two right but let's say there were a, a hundred of those right so I can simply select all of them with the shift left click and then you can close out of here and now you have all of those selected so you could do control minus and then I can just shift the cells up the deleted cells up and it removes both of those see so I can do that but the situation I'm trying to solve here it's a lot more interesting because I want to go to MEP content right US Imperial I want to go into my MV parts and then I have my Alex plumbing catalog and this plumbing catalog has a ton of folders right and then if I go under let's say lab equipment I have subfolders for lab equipment let's say I want to go into faucets right ball valve I have deck mounted overhead mounted so let's go to deck mounted and then here I have a list that includes the file that I'm interested in right which is this one for example but then I have a BMP file and an XML file that are both associated to this original file so in essence I only would like to have the DWG file but they're inside of all these subfolders right and the structure is pretty complicated so this one's definitely more interesting right and well in this case I do have this file which is what I did originally to have a list of my of my MV parts and this is definitely not easy on the eyes I did this one using the command prompt and these are a lot of like DOS style thing that we don't need to do anymore so instead of having this file I'm gonna delete this file and let's create a very nice Excel list of all my MV parts so I'm gonna delete this all right so the main goal of my MV parts list is to display let's say urinals right wall mounted urinals I want to make a list of all my DWG files in a very nice and readable format notice that these files have I have the main DWG file and I have a BMP file which is an image and an XML file which is an association between everything so let's go to Alex Plumbing which is what I want to copy and I'm going to do a search for the dot because any file is going to have an extension and that extension is going to be separated by a dot so I'm going to do a search for that and this is finding all the files that are contained there so I'm going to do control A and I'm going to copy path and for that I have to go to home then copy path now it's copying all that to the clipboard all right now I open my excel file and I do control V and now what I've pasted is right now you see all the subfolders you see all the subfolders folders and subfolders until you get to right here see this is the first well this is a text file this is actually my old text file that had this catalog I'm gonna delete this cell and now I'm going to organize from here actually I'm gonna delete all the back all the XML so first I want to find the cells that I want to delete in this case I'm gonna delete all the ones that have XML for example so let's do control F to open up our find and replace dialog box and I'm gonna do dot XML and I'm gonna do find all and now if you see as I click in any of those you see how it highlights so that's great right but I cannot delete them one by one I want to delete them all so what I can do is select the first one on the top and then do shift and select the last one in the bottom and then I can come out of the find replace dialog box and I keep the selection and then I can click control minus and this allows me to delete all these cells and if you had any other cells associated with this cell you can delete the entire row and that's what I'm gonna do so I'm gonna do OK that got rid of all the XML files now I wanna get rid of all the BMP files so I'm gonna do the same thing control dot BMP find all now I select the first one I go to the last one shift click and now I get out of here and I do control minus 
entire row. And now what I'm gonna do is click here, click the last one of the subfolders, and then I'm gonna do right click, cut, and I'm gonna come all the way down, and then I'm gonna do Control V, and I'm pasting them there. So I have all my folders and subfolders at the bottom, and I have all my files at the top. I'm gonna add one cell, and I'm gonna call it MB Parts. Just gonna format it pretty nice here. And then right here, I'm gonna add another line. I'm gonna call this folders and subfolders. And I'm gonna organize this guys alphabetically. And I'm gonna organize this guys also alphabetically. And also if I wanted to, I could get rid of this dot DWG by going to control find control f and then hitting here replace and then typing dot dwg and then replace with nothing and then do replace all and then all this will be removed but i think i'm gonna keep it for now i kind of like it but one thing i'm gonna do to clean it up for sure is i'm gonna take this and i know that all i want is from alex plumbing down right so I'm gonna select this and copy it to my clipboard. And I'm gonna do Control Find, and I'm going to replace this with nothing. I'm gonna do Replace All, and that cleaned it up really nice. So, and I have a really nice list to post and beam it up for you. And if you have enjoyed this video, make sure you like it down there. Subscribe to the channel, hit that bell so you get notified. Thank you for watching and see you on the next video.